oh, almost at Yushu. In fact, if you're seeing this, it means I am in Yushu. After five weeks, oh, Yushu for me is much more of a milestone than Chumaleb. That means I've pretty much got all of the 4,000, 5,000 meter stuff done. The weather is what is that as harshest up there. And I've just been absolutely battered, you know, just to give you 20% of what's happened, you know, from snow blizzards to minus 20 degrees Celsius. I was attacked by two dogs, one of them a Tibetan Mastiff. Come across wolves, we've seen bear footprints. I've had to cross so many mountain passes. You know, those who say, ah, oh, it's the Yangtze River, at least you'll be walking downhill. You'd be massively mistaken, my friend. I have crossed so many mountain peaks, over 5,000 meters. It's been absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. I've been freezing, wet, hungry. I've gone days, you know, sometimes a full day without food. And, um, oh man, that has just been so much, so much. And of course, being detained by the police, you know, woken up after midnight five times by them and taken to their station on two different occasions. But I'm finally at Yushu, almost. And I cannot wait. I'm gonna spend the next five, six days recovering, recharging, recouping. Wait for my uh, friend and photographer, Martin, to head on over. I'm gonna make sure that I'm prepared as well now for the next section too. I've got a good 500 miles straight following the Yangtze straight down to Lijiang's probably five, 600 meters. So um, I'll keep you posted whilst I'm in Yushu. Can't wait for pizza, burgers, oh, you name it, you name it. I've missed Western food, I'm craving that right now. <laughs> and I look forward to seeing all your comments as well and messages. And I've got a ton of messages and I will try to get back uh, when and if I can. So much appreciated guys. I'm gonna rest up and recharge. Speak soon.